Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have the two week update on the ceramic topper or ceramic coating topping products that we have going in this test here. So we got quickly run through it. We got the test panel. Whole top half here above this dirty line of tape that I got left on there. That is all ceramic coated with Gion Pure Evo. Below here was just polished, no coating. This then sat outside for six months and let the coating get a little bit worn in. We then applied five different products. So we left a section here, control section, so just ceramic coating, bare paint. Then we have the products on top of the coating, on bare paint, on top of the coating, bare paint, so on all the way through. So we run through the products that we have. These are the order in which they are applied on the panel. So first up, we have Platinum Potions Hydro Detailer, quickly becoming a favorite of mine due to the price, the looks, and the ease of application. So definitely a fan of this one. We have PNS Bead Maker. Not really my favorite, I'll be honest. NV Boost V2. This one has really impressed me. I've had this bottle for a while and I just used it once and then just didn't again. I'm not sure why, um, but really, really like this stuff. This is doing really well in the test. So the two Aussie products, both killing it so far. We have Adam's Graphene Detail Spray. And lastly, again, if you have watched the other ones, I have a Chemical Guys product here, not the one I was meant to buy. I didn't buy the Ceramic Quick Detail. I accidentally bought the wrong one, the Synthetic. Although it does say it enhances, I've got the light on there so you probably can't see, but it does say in the bottom, enhances waxes and sealants, but doesn't mention ceramic coatings. So we weren't gonna judge this too too harshly if it failed. So these are obviously all products that are designed, except for this one, um, but this is what I got told it was for, but these are all basically designed to be toppers for coatings, sealants, waxes and such. So you put these on top of the product. Some people like to use these just as base protection or just use them every wash. So what we're working out here is as the product fails, so, okay, start that again. We've got the ceramic coatings. Ceramic coatings are extremely hydrophobic, make washing and drying the car very easy. But if we put these products on top, is it diminishing the water behavior that ceramic coating would have? Is it adding to it? Is there any real reason to apply these? So by applying it both to the base paint and on top of the coating, and then having a section of the coating which we didn't top, we can compare that. This is how it's going to look the whole time, this ceramic coated section that is the plain uncoated, like untopped. As these five products that are on top wear off, which we notice down the bottom of the base protection that they'll be wearing off, will it also diminish the water behavior up here in any section? That's what we're trying to find out. I'm only doing obviously one application of them. Like people will say over time, if you keep applying, you know, your bead maker on top, it'll either get better or worse over time. Um, but I'm just doing it once to see. So that's basically the idea. It's been two weeks since we applied them. It's actually been a little bit longer. I've been a bit slack, I got a bit busy this week. I should have filmed this video three or four days ago, but it is what it is. I'm not sure if you can see, but this thing is filthy. Absolutely filthy. Bit of rain and it's where it's sitting with some heavy rain, sometimes some mud and dirt will splash up onto it. So very dirty panel. Definitely due for a wash. So now start off by rinsing. Oh, there's something interesting. While rinsing, I'm noticing that some of the products are really having that water stick. So that is quite interesting. That's what we want to find out. But we won't look into it too closely because it does still need a wash. So we're going to wash just gently. I've actually got this panel resting on this panel stand and I don't want the whole thing to fall over. So I'm going to give this a good wash, which it really does need because it is filthy, using Capra Reset as our soap, because I found that when doing these tests, I don't get any issues with it whatsoever. It doesn't seem to leave anything behind. It doesn't affect anything. It washes off straight away is what I've found. So just looking at the wash sections, the platinum potions section is kind of like rejecting the soap a little bit. 
Maybe that was the last one. I sort of put some soap on, I'm not sure, but that is interesting. So we'll go ahead and rinse this down. So at two weeks, they're basically the base protection of them. It's all gone. They're, as you can see, all right, hang on, platinum potions. Still sheeting the water up, and so is the NV coming up from the bottom. So the NV looks like it'll completely dry itself. The platinum potions stopped about, oh, it's still going, but very, very slow. Um, this is what the, un the control section, so no topper, no coating, nothing. So you can see it's completely soaked. The bead maker, got this tiny little spot there. The atoms, tiny little spot as well. The chemical guys, completely gone. So you can see the bead maker is, you yeah, know, not really, I wouldn't say it's drying itself, but you yeah, know, it's doing something. Platinum potions, definitely got this dead spot at the top. NV actually does as well, but they are both still doing something. Now, what I want to point out is before when I was rinsing it, we noticed, especially in the bead maker section, that the water was sticking around. So, yes, it seems to have cleared, let's see. Okay, so it's cleared up now. So after a wash, it seems fine. Might even just go to my mist section because that's easier to usually tell so we'll go along so here's the control section just the ceramic coating we'll come across to the platinum potions doesn't look any different to me come across to the bead maker doesn't look any different the nv doesn't look any different when i say it doesn't look any different i mean it's not like yeah you know, it's not like the water's sticking more or anything and then the chemical guys. So, I mean, yeah, they all look the same now that it's been washed. But interestingly enough, the bead maker, and I also noticed a little bit with the atoms and the chemical guys, but mostly the bead maker, before washing it, when rinsing, it was like clogging up the coating more, I guess is what you'd call it. it the water was sticking in that section. So it was still running off, but it was sticking. So if you use this on top of your coating, when the car gets wet, if it's raining or something, it's going to actually make your coating not as effective. So that's what I thought, that's what I found when I used to use this stuff. I bought a gallon of it and I went through like trying multiple different methods of applying it and people say to absolutely soak the stuff in, like use so much product that your microfiber application, microfiber is like literally dripping with it almost. You use so much, which seems a waste of product, but that's what I saw videos on YouTube saying to do. I tried that. I tried using less <clears throat> as directed. I tried this basically everything, but I found I was having issues. I felt like my coating wasn't looking as good while it was on there. I felt like I'd drive my car in the rain and I'd see the water sort of sticking. Now, obviously when the car's clean, it was fine, just like this is now. But while it was on top, before it was washed off, it was actually affecting the hydrophobics of the coating. I'd be driving in the rain and I'd feel like there's spots or I'd be, the car would be parked in the rain, there's spots where it wasn't beating up like it should. And then I would wash it and do a bit of a decon wash and it would come good again. So I stopped using the product for that reason. And that's why I kind of wanted to do this type of test because I saw that just then, as did you. Once washed, it's fine. But say, you're not, your car's not always clean driving around. You may drive around a day and it starts raining after you've cleaned your car and that's when you'll notice it. So yeah, that's, that's interesting. I also noticed a little bit with the, the atoms and the chemical guys, but that could have been in my head. It was definitely noticeable over here though. But for now, they're all back to normal. So I can say 100%, I didn't notice any sticking with the Platinum Potions or the NV. The Atoms, maybe a little bit, but maybe not. But the Chemical Guys, I felt like I did. And the Bead Maker, I 100% did. And then if you look at the, for base protection, obviously the NV is still clinging in there. It's still sheeting that water away. So it's still on top of the coating doing something and it's still here as base protection. So Platinum Potions is the same. It's still shedding that water away a little bit. So 
basically, I would continue using these two products. Now you'd ask why, why bother? Well, you may not have ceramic coated your glass. You may not have ceramic coated all your plastics, your headlights, your tail lights. When you're using one of these products and drying the car with it or using it afterwards, generally you're gonna go over the whole car. So a little bit of protection is gonna go on the glass, the plastics, anywhere you may have missed. And it's just also going to add a little bit of protection on top of the coating without providing any downsides. So especially the, well, I felt on my car when I used the Platinum Potions, I did a separate video on it. It enhanced the paint, like the metallics just popped really, really hard. I really liked the look of the product. But in this test, the main one I noticed that with was the NV. It made the paint so much darker. And even before I washed it just before and it was dirty, I could actually see the darkness was still there. I don't know if it still is because with it wet, it's hard to see, but the NV makes the paint look better will make it a little bit slicker. I can't actually remember the results of the slickness test, but I am about to dry this and then do a slickness test follow up and see if any of the products are still feeling slicker than the control section. But yeah, I just wanted to explain that because I've seen a lot of people mention like, why would you use these products when you've got a ceramic coating? What a waste of time and money and why even coat the car? I was that sort of opinion as well until I started using them. I originally thought that when I used my, had my bad experience with Beadmaker, but then when I started trying other products, I felt there's no downside to them. That's why I wanted to do this type of test to see if the benefits of slickness added protection and were the upsides, but there was no downsides of causing the coating to sort of get clogged or anything. So that's why I'm doing it. That's what I have found so far. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, as requested, redo the slickness test. So I'm gonna dry this off, get the ceramic coating applicator block and just try and see if these are still slippery at all or if they just lost all that slickness. Okay, so we're all dried up. We got this ceramic coating block again. Now I've just quickly checked this. So there's a control. Is it even moving? It is not moving. So that, no slickness. That's what we expect. That would be if these products were all completely worn away. And then obviously, like look at the angle this thing is on. By the way, it's on a quite a bit of an angle. So not slick at all base paint. This coating, not slick at all by itself. So we come over to the Platinum Potions, which came equal third, because I just watched the video back. It's still slick. It's still doing its thing. So we've added slickness. Even though the product is starting to wear away its base protection, it's still there a little bit. Also, the slickness is still there. So that's a huge plus for this product. Coming over to the Beadmaker, which was the second slickest, but it was a very close call. You can see it is basically gone. Still there, just, just hanging on. For the base protection, I should check that for the Platinum Potions first too. Yeah, basically gone. So the slickness is mainly, uh, maybe it depends where I put it. Okay. Yeah, the Platinum Potions are still slick as base protection. The bead maker, which was, this thing was running off there very quick. It was, you know, the second slick is behind chemical guys. You can see it slowly gets there. Put it down the bottom. And, oh sorry, I didn't think I was filming the right spot there. It is basically gone. It's not moving. So it's still just hanging in on top of the coating. But the main selling point for this stuff was the slickness, I found. Not worth it. Doesn't last after two weeks. It's not slick anymore. As considering it was slicker than the Platinum Potions at the start, Now it's not as slick. And it also, I felt like it masked the hydrophobics of the coating like I was talking about. NV was basically equal third with Platinum Potions initially. So it has lost its slickness. It's not, it's not even moving anymore. So, yep, that's a downside to the NV. It starts off slick, but if you apply it regularly, it, it will be fine, but it also does. You should check that now, actually. Can I see, is it still looking darker, the NV? I might just get rid of the light for a sec. No, I think the NV darkness, darkening effect is also worn off. So the NV lost its slickness. The Atoms, actually not a fan of this product because it didn't make the product, the, the ceramic coating any slicker. So that's one of the benefits of using these products I'll find and it didn't do anything and obviously it still isn't. So it was last place. And then the Chemical Guys, which was first, 
that is gone. So that's not doing anything anymore, but that product clearly wore off after about a week, the first wash. So, and again, it's not actually marketed to do what I'm using it for here. I grabbed the wrong product, but considering it didn't seem to have any real downsides, maybe I need to watch the video back and see if when I was rinsing this before washing, if it did stick the water a little bit. But yeah, you wouldn't buy this product to do what I'm doing with it anyway. Maybe if you have a chemical guy sealant or a wax, I don't know, but it definitely added slickness, but it was short lived. So yeah, with all that said, now the slickest after two weeks is Platinum Potions. Second, I guess, is Beadmaker. And then the other three, Yeah, so there we go. Well, I think basically there's no point in continuing this series on any further. So I'm gonna quickly wrap this up, write down the prices, work out everything and give my final thoughts on all these products. All right guys, well, there is no point in continuing this test on. We can see the results quite clearly. Um, some of the products may last another week or so, but I feel like better off ending it here just so it doesn't drag on. So I'm gonna go through with my thoughts. Now I realized when I made the first video, normally I list the price and I actually forgot. So we'll go over all my sort of thoughts now, including the price. So the Platinum Potions Hydro Detailer, that one is $30 for 500 mils. Now that is one of the better priced ones here. You will not use too much product, so yeah, I've done the test and my car. So you'll get a lot out of this bottle for $30. So, yep, that's the price for that one. The bead maker, I feel like it's gone up in price a lot since I last sort of checked too closely. Like I bought the gallon and then I bought the 500 ml bottle after. Um, but yeah, that's $30. So you can get the 3.8 liter or gallon container and refill. Um, which is what I did because I actually wanted the actual bottle for it. So I originally bought the gallon and just used the spray bottle I had, but then I bought that. Um, yeah, I feel like it was cheaper, but maybe not. So that's $30, so same price as the Platinum Potions. The NV Boost V2, uh, this one, the opposite, I actually thought it was a lot more expensive. I feel like it used to be, and maybe they've dropped the price, or there's currently a sale, but either way, price checking at the moment um, from Waxit, it is $37.50. So. Yeah, a little bit more expensive, but I thought it was 50. So I don't know why, I thought it was at least 40. But yeah, so that one's quite impressive of a product. A little bit on the pricier side, but nothing crazy. An extra $7.50 is a lot um, when you consider it's the same 500 mils. But that's the price of that one. The Atoms, now this is going to be interesting because it's, I bought this off of Amazon and it was cheaper at the time. Now they're actually like, $85 so clearly they probably don't have any stock so they just put the price up I know that's what people on eBay used to do just to keep their listing going they just jack the price up so no one buys it if they do then lucky to them they sold it for a ridiculous amount um, but on the Adams Polishes Australia website uh, it is $37 so you can still get it but it's similar price to the NV and lastly the cheapest is the chemical guys but it's $26 the product I was meant to buy I feel like is actually a lot higher um, so, you know, it's the cheapest, but of the four that are, you know, what I meant to actually use, um, yeah, the Platinum Potions and the bead maker are the cheapest. Um, then moving on to slickness. Now you saw we just did the slickness test at the two week mark. We did the slickness test at the start. The results, what I would consider is what was the slickest at two weeks, but still was slick at the start. So for that, it's going to be the Platinum Potions all the way. It was still slick at the initial application and it stayed slick after two weeks when the product is in the base protection form starting to fail. So it adds slickness and it's a good price. That one, really well. Um, second, I guess, in the slickness would be the bead maker. It was the slickest at the start, but then it dropped off a lot, but it still was coming second. Now, the NV, unfortunately, just didn't stay slick. It started off even with the bead maker, uh, with, sorry, with the Platinum Potions Hydro Detailer, and then it dropped off. So unfortunately, you yeah, know, not the best there for slickness, and the Chemical Glycine Atoms, um, both were completely gone at two weeks, 
Adams was never slick, so not a fan of that. I definitely want these types of products I'm adding to my coating to add some slickness. That one didn't do it. It's probably pointing at the wrong spot. <laughs> um, and the chemical guys started off slick and it was gone in two weeks. So yeah, price and slickness so far, I'm going with the Platinum Potions. Um, application, um, I mean, I only did this little panel, obviously, so it's hard to t compare them directly in that aspect. I have used Boost V2, I have used Beadmaker, and I have used the Platinum Potions on a full car. Um, I didn't have any issues with Platinum Potions, and I didn't have any issues with Boost V2. Um, the only issues I had with the application of the Beadmaker was people saying you have to use, you know, like basically 250 mils, half this bottle, to get solid application. So you just waste product, um, but it was definitely easy to apply as were the rest of them in this test. So I'm not really gonna give any points to anyone here. I think they were all pretty easy. There wasn't any obvious, if you apply these on a black car in the sun, then sure it's gonna have a different experience. I haven't done that, so I don't know. I applied them all onto cool paint in the shade and they've all been great. And then last up for the looks, definitely the winner there was the NV Boost. That one noticeably enhanced the look of the paint. I'm gonna say, I don't wanna use my previous judgment from just having it on a one car because I really thought that the Platinum Potions was going to really add a lot to it. But yeah, I'm just gonna say points to the NV there, the rest of them will stay the same. So with that said, the price and the slickness Platinum Potions is the go-to. Great product, highly recommend it. Actually, highly recommend this brand in general. Very underrated, a lot of great stuff. Their um, air fresheners, obviously, I use them like every time I clean a car, but they are great. But their um, actual detailing chemicals are also really, really good. Their like leather is my go-to leather cleaning and dressing kit. And then this now is right up there for ceramic detailers for me. So I'm really actually, couldn't recommend these guys high enough. Very, very nice group of guys and Australian made and owned, which on this channel, I really like to support Australian products such as, you know, Merch, Platinum Potions, Bowdens, NV. I really like how our Australian products are really sticking it to the competition. So stoked on this one. The NV Boost I'm gonna say is you know, either, I'm not gonna say give a winners, but another one that I highly, highly recommend. Just another great brand coming out of Australia. A lot of great products from NV. I use a lot of their stuff as well. Like their NV Snow is just one of the best. Um, this one, another great product, their sealants, their decon products. I use a lot of their stuff and re really like using NV and another great product from them that I would highly suggest I wouldn't actually use the other three again. A, the chemical guys isn't the right product, so I'm not really judging that, but the Adams um, didn't really have any benefits to me. It didn't add slickness and it didn't really enhance the look of the paint. So there's no real need to use that when there's products that do those things. Beadmaker, sorry if you're a big fan. I'm not, not rating that product at all and I wouldn't use that again. That's gonna be the last time I'll use that on a ceramic coated car. I'll just continue using this for just a quick detailer on like door jams and stuff. So yeah, that is where I'm going to end this test. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This one didn't plan on being the last video on the series. It's probably way too long. So I will wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know the next five products you want to see me use in this type of test on this type of panel. But yeah, with all that said, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking, sharing the videos. Really do appreciate the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.